Joe Kulas here once again for K-Tactical. So, if you've been watching my videos, um, as of like the last, I'd say, 10 or so, you probably noticed that I've been getting into dirt coating lately. And kind of with that, I've been trying to, you know, get into the, oh, if I can buy a gun, used or new, at a good enough price, so I could dirt coat it and still sell it, you know, make a profit. And, and, and with that, you know, I mean, obviously there's a lot of work involved if you watch, again, another couple of videos. So I kind of want to make a mediocre of a profit, but compared to like, you know, mission spec camo, which with their prices are really not that bad. I mean, they're fairly convenient, you know, but making not nearly as that much, but, you know, making, you know, a decent price for each one I do. Um, you know, I guess this little video is for the Tokra of T33 that I did, or TT33. Um, you know, and what I did with it initially was I, I stripped it down to all of its parts, and on the lower I did OD green. Then I did like the safety, the mag release, um, your little detention here, and then the slide open. And you know, on here I did the, I want to say it's a detent, I'm not sure the exact name of the detent, and then the other side of the safety. And then the trigger, I did all that in the silvery part as a slide. And it's actually diamond plate gray is actually the actual color for it. So, I mean, it looks very silvery, but I wanted to do the gray instead of the silver. So, um, but, you know, I picked it up, assembled it. Oh, and then the maroons, you know, I did, uh, it's kind of a, ah, I did the grips maroon. Sorry about that. And, uh, you know, anyways, I did that up, you know, I did all those parts, the silvery gray type. And then I was like, you know what? This lower actually looks better and just OD green, so I resprayed it all again. Um, probably should have took a picture of that ahead of time <laughs> before I redid it, but you know, it looked very, it looked, it looked very neat. But when I actually assembled again, I'm like, nope, I should leave that just as OD green. And maybe, maybe it's because of the uh, grips as I did maroon, it didn't look as good. But you know, it's just like ah, that could look a little bit better. But, you know, the thing about dirt coating, what I believe in, and I kind of noticed Mission Spec Camo, not to diss them at all, but, you know, because I took off a couple things, because I like to constantly kind of switch things off my guns. But, you know, when I was doing a little bit of that, I noticed that they didn't fully dissemble everything, to, to the fullest extent, but, like, in general, yeah, everything was pretty much top-notch. But, you know, let's say somebody in the future, you know, wants to swap off, they got those, like, ivory weird-looking grips, they got the one that goes around compared to, you know, just on the sides. Um, there's, I think, I think I've seen like a total of six or seven grips overall for the tow crowd. You know, if you want to swap on different ones, you know, and like if I were to just left that on there, actually, sorry, it's this one that goes on this side. If I were to just left that on there and then taped it off, you know, compared to disassembling it, and then you were to put some other ones on there, it would be just a little bit different so you'd see that black than, you know, the natural finish. It definitely wouldn't look as nice. Um, same thing for going of, there's actually a, f a fucked up compensator that you can get for this. That looks really neat, but you know, if I were to just left this on and then you were to see the black there and that, that compensator, I, I would assume it's one for one, but if it were to, you know, be a little bit different, you were to see that black, it would look kind of shoddy at best. Um, you know, kind of, kind of the same thing if you ever wanted, like, this gun doesn't have it, but if you want to do like an upgrade, like, magazine release type stuff. Or sorry, this is a magazine release, it's the uh, slide release. I mean, if you ever want to, like, do custom parts, and again, you'd probably get it dirt-coated again, but if you were to see those differences and see, like, where it was, you know, uh, black on there, because the differences, it's kind of a turn-off to me. But anyway, it's pretty simple, you know, what I did. So, um, and actually, you know, one other thing that I thought was going to look really, really cool was the star there. I did it in white. I taped it all off. But because, I'm going to try to get in there, if you can see all those like little ripples and kind of like texture between the star, you know, in that circle, that stuff made the taping not work completely, and there was just like just a little bit of white drip, just a little bit of white drip, because, you know, I even pressed it down, you know, just like with a knife trying to get in there, you know, just pressing it down, not, you know, scarring it up at all, but, and it's still just, just barely... Um, you know, blood through, so I resprayed these, again, maroon, so, and then the front, you know, I did that with the gray silver too, because normally this was black, but I wanted to keep it, that front slide, all just kind of, you know, that silver, so I'm going to put this together here real quick, 
And then you guys can see what it looks like. Try to do this best from the camera. Got it kind of at a weird angle, so. Get that a little bit tighter. I'm going to go off camera for that. And that's the other thing about the toe crop grips, you know, how they, they go in. There's, I mean, this is like a Romanian one as well. Just, just a shade loose. That's a common thing with them. Um, and then for this part, I believe I gotta go inside internally. All right. That does not seem right. Pretty sure that is right. Well. Oh, there we go. Just need uh actually I think I did this with my finger initially. Sorry guys for this grip, I gotta get off because I gotta kinda hold that as a weird position, so and that just kinda has like the lever system again too. Um but you can see how it just kinda flops right on there. So Alright. Now I gotta do this fun little barrel thing. And again, you know, I've Fun little gun, but that's kind of the crummy thing about dirt coating too. Um, you gotta shoot. Actually, did that wrong. Well, sorry, gonna cut. Okay, guys, sorry about that. There's slight interruption, like I said. Um, but you know, with that, you gotta kind of learn how all the guns assemble, disassemble. You know, that itself can actually take a pretty decent amount of time. So, um. But, you know, it's just a timely process as well. I mean, for example, this one, um, I want to say it took like three hours, as crazy as that is, you know, with many different colors, it's just, it's just apply a coat for, you know, 30 seconds a minute, just really depending on how much you got to cover. <sighs> Sorry, just, and you're just constantly... Well, I guess I have to stay in there. Yeah. Get this in first. Um, but you know, just making sure you apply all that stuff right. And you know, it's usually not just, you know, just like one or two coats. Again, sorry taking the stuff off camera here. But you're applying coat after coat after coat. And unfortunately, you can't just, oh, I got, okay, I got these three colors. I gotta uh, switch back and forth and. Usually quite a bit to it, unfortunately. You now, so you just keep on spraying coat after coat, you know, listening to some music or something, or maybe have a TV on in the background, or it's just some unfortunately time consuming stuff. Alright, a detent's in there. Oops, actually, I kind of skipped a step a little bit in there, sorry guys. Okay, now I gotta slide this guy on. But, actually, install the hammer as well. Like I said, you know, Tokarov, I've, I've shot one, and yeah, it's fun stuff. But, yeah, you know, I'm not too familiar with all the disassembling. Sorry, this video is a little bit better for angle wise, too. I'm trying to, you know, one man operation, so. A lot of this stuff, you know, is awkwardly positioning a lot of it while you're kind of trying to assemble it on with these pistol springs as well. It's not the easiest stuff to mess around with usually. Maybe this actually goes in. Well, yeah. Okay, line those guys up. There we go. Slide this detent forward. Make 
Make sure all the safeties, all that fun stuff work. Give it a couple dry fires, you know. Obviously the chamber's empty. You know, holds open still on the last round because I got Meg in there. So, that's all there really is to it. Now, in my opinion, that's a pretty sexy toe grab. So, you know, again, compared to the all-original black, I think it's pretty darn cool. That's just me, you know, and then the trigger. Um, sorry, not the trigger, but uh, the hammer is still, you know, uh, that gray color as well. And the reason being, you know, I mean, it's, it's, look right where it's at. You know? I think that would look better as, like, the silver, so. And then back, and I, look, you can see a pretty neat detail, so. Try to line up the sights here as well. You know, it's doing this at a very weird angle again. Pretty neat, you know, so. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty neat, but okay, sorry, so anyways, though, you know, as I was assembling there, I was trying to explain how I did it, but I'll do a little bit more being detailed for that. Again, you know, I stripped apart the gun. Um, I want to say I did the OD green first, and, you know, did the floor plates, did all that disassembly, and, you know, it was just apply a coat for, you know, I mean, now also, you know, little parts. I think maybe a minute of applying, or, you know, actually, I'd probably say about two minutes, because, you know, I, I gotta hang everything up, go grab another one, put the gun back down, go, you know, or sorry, actually, be spray, put the gun down, like, on the stand, not this, but the spray gun, go put it down, grab another one, come back, repeat, you know, repeat, 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 and this gun, I think I did about, originally, seven to eight coats of OD Green, then I did this taped it all off because you know obviously and this was not right away but you know and then I did the slide and all that and then after I did that you know did the uh, grips and then the next day you know just kinda kinda same thing you know seven-ish coats seven-ish coats um, like actually on these grips I had to do about ten coats because it did not want to stick at all and you know, it was just spray for, you know, 30 seconds a minute, just depending on, like, this, you know, the grips it was just, you know, five seconds. And then also, you know, Jerry and Rigging it, as you can tell, I actually, you know, Jerry rigged it with my uh, screwdriver, so. Um, and, you know, just kind of repeating and repeating. And if you would try to, look, oh, I'm just going to spray and wait a minute and spray again, it's going to bleed on you, and it's going to look like shit. Trust me, you know, I think, on my first gun, I like, okay, maybe I can get away with this. And, no, it bleeds. And then you have to, like, use lacquer thinner, you know, to get all that dirt coat off. And then you have to refinish it and, you know, get get all get all of it off. And then you gotta, you know, re-degrease it, all that stuff, re-prep it completely. And it's just, you know, a huge pain in the butt. And, yeah, it does not work out that great. So, very unfortunate. Very, you know, eh, but... So anyways, yeah, I mean, it's just a very time-consuming process. I want to say the first night, I was doing it for about an hour and a half to two hours. Again, that's with all the taping and all that stuff. And, and actually, that would have been just that. But yeah, then the silver, all taping, maybe, maybe two, I, I'd go with like two hours of actual work. You know, there's obviously time in between that. Um... But, you know, the next day, same thing, took a good hour or some, you know, so. And then when I had redid the green, that took another 30, 40 minutes, you know, to properly do it. Unfortunately, it's a very time-consuming thing. And then, you know, recleaning the gun for every color and letting it dry, because you, you had to use lacquer thinner in there, you got to let that dry. And anyways, I'll get a picture of this barrel for, you know, you guys can see this, because this is probably going to be for sale. It's very nice and clean. Uh, I'm trying to get the best. It's very, very nice and smooth, and the gun is practically brand new, so, again, I got into it at a good price, you know, I decided to buy it, do it up here, and I'm gonna probably resell it, you know, so, obviously there's that whole, oh, I got a gun for a good price, you know, and it looks pretty badass now, um, going to, you know, keep it for myself type thing, because, I mean, obviously I love collecting as well, but, kind of shoot me some prices of as a consumer what would you pay you know I mean again mission spec camo the two colors is 135 and for like another color it's like 50 bucks I want to say that's just off the top of my head um, but that's what I want to say so um, 
kind of let you guys be the judge of that, but, I mean, you know, for prices, I'm not, I'm probably not likely going to do much of the, this gun's going to sell for exactly this price, you know, like a buy it now of like four fifty, five hundred, whatever the gun may be, and then, you know, do like a reserve on it, so it's like ten dollars under the buy it now price. I'm not, I'm probably never going to do stuff like that, but when I first may list this gun, I may list the starting bid as like, let's say, three fifty. Um, you know, just kind of depending per gun, too. And that's another thing, too, like a Tokarov. Some places you can get them a little bit cheaper, some some you can't. And that's the other thing is, depending on what I get into it for, like, obviously, if I could buy it cheaper online than from somebody, I'll probably buy it online. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But depending on what I put into it, you know, because obviously, like, there's so many sites out there that I might have got into this for 200 Oh, and you can buy... Um, you know, a used one on this site for 200 you know, and be like, oh, well, that's unfortunate, you know, it's, or like, sorry, like, let's say like 190 you know, um, it's just like, ouch, you know, should just buy it from there, but, um, for the Tokarov, let me know, I know Impact Guns, they sell for 280 290 and at the average gun show, you'll see them for around 300 as well, and, you know, around there, give or take, and, you know, with that dirt coat, you know, what, what's it worth to you type thing, um, but hopefully, you know, that's enough for everybody. I mean, hopefully I didn't leave anything out, really. Oh, yeah, and by the way, it will come with two mags. So, and the floor plates, I actually did those as silver as well first. But, like I said, you know, I did it up. And I, I kind of personally just liked it better as the two-tone, but then the grips being maroon. So... I think if the slide would have all the way up here, if it would have been a little bit different slide, and that would have been all green as well. I think it would have looked a little bit different, but I think there's just too much silver on it for my taste. So, you know, again, it's very, very nice finish. It looks brand new. It is pretty much brand new. Um, and the thing about it, too, is I think I got, like, 100 rounds, 50, 70 rounds, something like that. Um, I'll probably put in the auction. I want to say I, I got close to like 80, 90 rounds for it. Um, not sure exactly on the amount of rounds though. But you know, if that that was included, what would the price be for just the gun? What would the price be for the gun and the ammo? Let me know. Um, you know, I'll try to do as best price comparison as I can for that. So, and then also you'll be getting this uh, little lockable case. So, you know, with the extra mag. So it's kind of like a complete thing right here. So, and even a cleaning rod, if I can find that. I gotta, oh, it's actually right here. So, yeah. Again, sorry about the uh, combining of the two videos and whatnot, but I had that alarm go off there. But let me know, you know, if you like it, if you don't like it, what prices you think might be, um, et cetera, et cetera. So... It's a very neat, very cool... I think it's probably the coolest toe crop I've ever seen. The only thing that would have made it any cooler is if it would have had that compensator. And, again, this is the 762 by 25 version. Um, there's a couple different versions out there, so... Um, I want to say it's a 7, maybe an 8 plus 1 meg. So, I haven't loaded it up yet, so... Um, but, yeah, it's very... The trigger pull, you know, is something to be desired on these. Like, I think it's a little bit of a heavy trigger pull, but... It's very, you know, it's it's one of those things, if you ever shot them, you'll like them. So, actually, I think the trigger on this one might be a little bit better. But, anyways, uh, I'm not going to rant on too much more, nothing really to rant on about. But, it's a very neat, cool gun, and, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So, if you guys would please let me know what you want, you know, whether it's via comments or message. Again, you know, I'll probably kind of do this per every gun I do. If I do, uh, you know, an AK, I'll, again, I'm not going to tell you what I got into it. Cause that's that's a little bit for me to know. And that's for every gun, too, you know. if I I, I, I kind of want to save you all money to a little bit of a degree, but I am kind of doing it as, you know, it's like a hobby and a little bit of a job. So, and, uh, you know, it's every, everyone's a little bit more work and, like, that that's the only crummy thing I, I will say if if it's like a single color thing, it is easy as heck to do. I've done a couple. Uh, well, actually, I've done a friends AK, a friends SKS, and you know a couple other. Oh my God! I'm like, well, check out my guns, you know. But like the single first coat, that stuff is so easy. 
but when you have all these other colors, it's just, oh, now I gotta spend all this time on this one color, so, you know, definitely a lot of, uh, time added into those, and I enjoy it, but, I mean, obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things, so, but, anyways, leaving it at that, everyone take care, have a good weekend, and, uh, yeah, take care. Oh, sorry guys, one last thing, again, sorry to keep this going on for so long, it will need an FFL, so, you know, same thing with all these uh, other firearms and whatnot, it needs an FFL, so, you know, if, whether you're familiar with that stuff, um, most pawn shops have an FFL license, Federal Firearms License is what it is, I need to ship it to that, and then you pick it up, most FFLs charge like 10-15 bucks for a pickup fee, Shipping, I'm probably going to do some sort of insured shipping, you know, 20, 25 bucks, uh, something of that sort. It, it's going to set you back 20, 25 bucks anyways. So remember to add that to the price. And, you know, check with your pawn shop too, because I, I know some places, I've, I've heard of these stories, I've never actually ran into them, but a, an FFL trying to charge like 50 bucks for a transfer fee, or, you know, even more. But those those I've heard about in California. So, um, but, you know, just like ridiculous fees. And also, as with that, to my knowledge, this isn't illegal anywhere, but, you know, be leery of that if, you know, make sure it's legal where you are from. And, and you know, with that, oh, yeah, so what's your guys' transfer fees? Okay, and then, you know, is this, this gun's legal, right? Again, I don't want to say it's illegal anywhere, but for example, I know most AKs are illegal in California. Most, not all. And then there's things too with like an AK, you need to get like the mechanism, like for the trigger, like lock, and then that's extra money and stuff like that. So I'm probably for like AKs and ARs, I'll probably exclude California unless you really want to pay for that. But even then, if there's some type of error with like picking it up, I'm not responsible for that. So, um, but. Anyways, just make sure it's legal for you to own wherever you are. And don't ask me to send to a personal address for like an extra 50, 100 bucks, stuff like that. Don't ask me to do that. So, but all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and take care.